hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to November's product focus cut file share. As I mentioned yesterday when I was going through my How to Kill a Kit with Style for November, I showed you this kit and I mentioned that Christy and I wanted to focus on cut files for this month and really I'm trying to make that sort of one of my main focuses. I have other ones which you saw on my video yesterday, Brad's um, printables of course as, as have been uh, focuses of mine for the last couple of months. Uh, I chose some stencils but I really want to play more with my cut files. I have these gorgeous kits. I'm not using them. Um, and I'm still a little intimidated by cut files, but I do love the way my friend Chrissy plays with them. So that gives me a little bit of added motivation and definitely, definitely a lot of inspiration. So yesterday I showed you a few um, cut files that I had out on my desk that I hadn't used yet. The, these lovely hearts, the cup the film strip, the camera, and then I showed you the May Creative Cuts Club kit, but just in uh, the packaging, and I said I'll come back and share that with you because that is uh, part of the focuses that I'll be using in November as well, is about home, staying home, uh, doing things at home, and basically the everyday because let's face it, that's what we're all doing now. And in my area, of course, we've been back on lockdown since October 1st, and it goes at least until, I believe, November 24th or 25th. We'll have to see, uh, as our cases are still like over a 1,000 a day, which is equal to the highest count we had in the first round, actually even more so. So... More scrappy time, more scrappy time. So I also found these on my desk, which I didn't show you yesterday, these fun little light bulbs that I had in my stash. I don't quite remember where they come from, but I will add those. Now, for the gorgeous, gorgeous May kit called, and I think Christina actually called it Home Sweet Home. So that is perfect. And one of the things I love is she actually has started including a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper in each of the kit that goes along with the theme of the kit. And this one is from Pink Fresh Studios, uh, Let's Stay Home. And it's a gorgeous, I have that collection. I haven't started using it yet. So we'll see if I break it out sometime during the month, but I have quite a bit um, to play with because I also have a lot of storyteller coming up because I'm taking Vicki Wooten's class. Um, and there is a mini album class, but there's also a layout class. And there may be another surprise around the storyteller for this month. And I think that would also fit very well with the Let's Say Home. But I think this is lovely. She used to just put a piece of cardboard. And now she's gone that extra step. And we even get a lovely piece of pattern paper with the kit. So... Now, I kept a piece of black cardstock out this time so that I'm a little better prepared than yesterday so we can see these. So the 12 by 12 cut files. Isn't this fun? What a fun design. So that can definitely be a piece de resistance. And I don't know whether I might do some just watercolor on the background. Or actually, you know, I could use it exactly like that with a few photos popped up on foam and use black cardstock as the background. What do you think? If going through all of this, as I go through this with you today, you have some ideas or things you would like to see me do with these cut files, please, please put a comment down below. Here you go. As I need all the help I can get. We then have this lovely word homebody which is perfect for me. This gorgeous, gorgeous cut file, home, which would be definitely, um, geez, I love this. I think what I would do, this one definitely I would like to watercolor on the background. I don't think I would back it. Either that or maybe just find a beautiful, beautiful 
all braid or watercolored background and, and use it as is, but this is gorgeous. Or something I saw Christy do yesterday, which was actually do some watercoloring right on the cut file, and I think that could be fun for um, the florals here and the leaves, so that could be a lovely idea. Another 12 by 12, hexagons, my favorite shape. This one is fun. So this, I could see me putting a few photos uh, and maybe even do them in hexagons or just tiny little, I don't know whether I would do tiny little diamond photos here, but this is, I love this. This is fun. And, and as you know, I do love my hexagons. So that is a fun one for some, maybe some gardening, gardening photos or floral uh, photos I think could be fun with this one. Then let's see in some of the small, let's see, here's another couple of larger ones. Ooh. Oh, there's lots of fun ones here that are perfect for the Let's Stay Home collection, but also just for all games. So I'm assuming this is night. I love this. Yeah, see, game, game day. We have both. Oh, isn't that fun, Christina? That is awesome. Game night, game day. So that is just awesome. And probably in here will be the cutout parts from this. Christina usually includes them all the time. So that is fun. And that is something that we love doing in my family when we can get together is have game nights. We used to always have a game day on um, Boxing Day on the 26th of December. Not likely to be able to do that in person this year. We have to find a way of maybe doing a game night via Skype. I need to try and find that. We love playing cribbage. Uh, we love playing Scrabble, Mexican train dominoes. Um, I'm not a great card player other than cribbage and skip bow. I do enjoy skip bow. What kind of games do you play? Uh, and do you have family game days or family game nights? Let me know. So that is fun. Then all sorts of stuff to go along with that. A lovely cup and the little star goes inside it. A movie tab. Look, this is full, full, full of all sorts of gorgeousness. Just a lovely little circle. The director's loudspeaker that is fun that little thing for the director to use there as well so lots of stuff around movies this is just a fun little shape tickets that we could fill in ourselves isn't that fun oh my goodness me admit admit one which could go right in here which is i guess where it actually comes from i am going to love this i don't know maybe i should do Maybe I'm going to do a little bit of a mini-series about some of my favorite movies or books. What do you think? Movies. Well, I definitely have this stuff here for movies. Popcorn. Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm loving this kit. This is good. Okay, I am going to enjoy playing with cut files this month. And these are sized to make it easy for me. A director's chair. Love that. Uh, this, I guess, is for 3D. Movies. I have a confession. I don't think I have ever, ever seen or gone to like one of those IMAX or 3D or put some 3D glasses on. I don't think I've ever done that. And I think I'm a little, I'm a little scared of those. It must feel a little bit weird. Tell me. Oh my God. I'm, ask, I'm asking so many questions. Anyway, just, just love this. Is that not gorgeous? Now, if that is not, oh, popcorn. This little popcorn, which goes into here. See, she thinks of everything. We get all the little bits and pieces. You could use that on its own. You can pop it in there. The little star. So you see here we have the three pieces for the star. Then in this fun little bag, we have some more. And these are houses, I think. Yeah, they are. Houses and windows. I'm not going to take these windows out because I'm going to lose them, but you can see them here. Even We even have the windows 
to the houses and the door. Isn't that, here, let me put some of this stuff up here so that I have a little bit more room to show you these. Fun little house. Another house, another house. Oh, there's another window. Let me make sure I get that in there so I don't lose those. House. And so we have five different types of houses. Is that not cool? And if that's not enough now, I'm, and I'm going to tell you for you, for in the States, this kit is $17 shipped. $17 US shipped. Well, um, I'm pretty sure it's that here too. I mean, I think uh, Christine and I organized ourselves with the shipping. So I, I had maybe just a little bit here because she adds it to my kits, but this is so, so worthwhile. And look, there's always some little goodies. There's another little floral here. An exclusive sequin mix from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Three, and these would be exclusive from the Redefined Creative Shop. Some wood veneer houses. Then in here, some Scrap and Happy Studio Flair, to which are, I'm sure, made Jutsy, exclusively made for the Creative Cuts Club. And then this fun little, let's see, let's try and save that little heart, which is a fun little note that we can add and use with a beautiful little envelope. So isn't that fun? So there is November's Cut File product focus that my dear friend Christy is playing along with. And um, others in the Freeze Gang are going to join us. I know um, Karen is going to use mainly um, some dies and punches to sort of replicate this kind of thing. So others will be joining us in the Freeze Gang. So again, Pop me down any ideas that you have for any of these. And what do you think? Should I do a bit of a mini series? I think that might be fun. A mini series of some of my all time favorite movies or books uh, or games. Yeah, I think that could be fun. I will see you all again soon. Thanks for being with me. Bye.